congratulations to all the graduates today. You are now ready to create a life and career of your own design. When I was like you, having graduated from my engineering degree, it wasn't exactly clear as to what kind of a life I wanted to design and live. I was in Hong Kong then, and I was making plans to leave the place where I was born and move to Toronto in Canada. Meanwhile, I wanted to be playful. I wanted to go for the jobs that were deemed the hardest and the most desired by conventional wisdom. Without really the desire to get a job offer, I remember I was talking freely, responding to questions, not trying to find the right answers, but with my answers in the way I wanted to express them. Then, miracles happened, one after another. I found myself given offers to these jobs from banks, trading houses, and many others. Well, I ended up taking one of them in Hong Kong and postponed my move to Canada for a year. However, there was always this little voice in my head saying, why would you leave a job everybody wanted? Well, luckily, I cleared my head one day and thought that the world was far bigger than the one city that I knew. And going to a large country could have only helped my growth. So I gave up everything I worked to accumulate. I went to stay with a friend in Toronto, sharing a room not larger than 20 square meters, and I started to design and build a life from virtually nothing. So far I have lived in four cities, worked for three different companies. The one thing that threaded these discontinuous changes in my life has been following my passion and the ability to take what one might consider as large risks in my career. I still remember when I told a few friends that I was going to Amazon Japan, one of them said to me, you're probably one of the last people going to a dot-com company. My most respected mentor advised me about Amazon, saying, I wouldn't touch it with a 10-foot pole. But my passion was telling me that the internet is going to change the world, and I want to be part of it. Even if Amazon Japan turned out to be a large failure, it would have been risks well worth taking. Today we have over 6,000 employees in Amazon Japan and we continue to bring in new leaders in large numbers. We have been very lucky to be regarded as a workplace that graduates would highly consider. My biggest fear, however, is that graduates are attracted to Amazon because we are large, because we are established, and perhaps we won't fail. Well, none of this is true, nor do we want it to be true. We want leaders who can cause changes, remain passionate about our mission, and know that their personal leadership will shape the company into the future. Day one is a term at Amazon we use to remind ourselves to be humble, be custom-obsessed, and be innovative. Day two is the beginning of a path to decline and eventually death. Make every day day one in this journey of building your life and the career of your own design. Graduates, I look to you to cause changes, to create disruption through innovation, and take risks at the personal level so your personal leadership can shine and inspire others to do the same. Create miracles as you are destined to be great. Thank you and congratulations.